Hey, what's up, guys? Um, sorry, TV was a little. Um, so I got another review. Um, so like I said in my one video, my chest protector turned to sh. So what I got, because it was on sale mainly, um, got the STX Cell One chest protector. Um, sing it. It, it is pretty sweet. Um. Basically, the whole chest protector, um, the, the pad covering, it's similar to that synthetic leather that's on a lot of the gloves now. Um, so you know that's going to be durable. Um, it's got these large um, collarbone protectors. Um, it has nice body coverage. Um, I'm not going to probably put it all the way on, but here, I'll see if I can stand up and show you. Let's see. Like it covers your entire torso. It's got a little bit of rib protection to the sides. So, um, yeah, when I sit down, it kind of goes hey. But um, <laughs> otherwise, it's got this really hard plastic um, right there. Oops. So, um. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have knocked on the hard plastic. Got my dogs going. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. It's very flexible. Um, if you thought it was just like a sheet of hard, you know, it'll flex. It'll move with you. Um, these larger collarbone pads aren't restrictive at all. Um, ah, crap. And something in my eye. But, um, also a nice, nice feature of it, um, on the back side, they have um, another antimicrobial liner. Um, it's supposed to keep you know sweat away from the body and, and all that stuff. Um, as you also see, there's this nice air. I don't know if it's air bladder. It kind of feels like there's a chamber of air in it right here. Um, it's also removable in case you don't want it on there. See, there is. That stuff there, but it's supposed to protect your heart. Um, your heart is basically, in addition to your brain, what runs your body. So if that gets messed up, you're gonna die. So um, with that being said, I upgraded my chest protector. Um, another good feature of this is um, this nice strapping system. Um, it's kind of like a t-shirt material, but it's stretchy like an Under Armour. And so it's real awesome. Um, so coupled with this bottom strap, it really helps pull down the chest protector. Um, I'll show you. Slide this bad boy on. So now that it's on, you can see how it really pulls pulls these down. And then from the back, it, it really it's quite the control harness. And uh, yeah, when you sit down, it kind of does suck. Uh, it kind of goes right up into your throat. But um, I didn't have any restrictions as far as my um, throat protector that hangs off my helmet. You know, with the CPX, C Pro, um, Pro 7, CPXRs. They all have that like um, angled chin protector, and then you add another throat protector that kind of just dangles. Um, I didn't have any restriction as far as it hitting either here where the pad begins, like right here. Um, there is a little foamy guy right here, but um, that's mainly just comfort, so your your throat doesn't just bash into like the harder plat harder pieces of the chest protector. Um, but otherwise, um, this is a pretty pretty nice chest protector. As you see, it, it's really like nice and you know it fits. It's not like you know over here you're like ah can't make save. Um, so just to prove that point, I got my my American Gold stick. So your hands are out. See, no restrictions. I make a save over here. I can still reach all that way. And it's not in the way. So, if anybody was concerned with that, 
it's not a problem. I mean, granted, yes, I am sitting down, not standing when I did that. But um, maybe once there's not a foot of snow outside, I'll do a demo of me wearing this chest protector and, you know, showing you guys what's up. So overall, highly, highly protective. Um, just like the elbow pads that I showed you in my last video, it has the same technology right in here. See all those little, uh, little ISO blocks in there? Um, it's pretty awesome. I got it on sale for like 80 bucks. So um, the Cell 2, it's really sweet. It looks very nice. Um, it might be a little lower profile than this one, but the lacrosse store I went to didn't have it. So and I didn't really feel like spending 150 bucks. So I upgraded my chest protector, spent 80 bucks. Went economical, shoot me. <laughs> you know, um, I thought of getting the uh, the um, cell two, but like I said, they didn't have it. I needed a chest protector. Bought this one. Um, this is highly, highly protective, though. Um, I'm not gonna bash either chest protector. Um, they're both equally nice. Um, this one has a few more partitions in it. Like as far as the pad, um, so it kind of flexes and moves a little bit. I didn't try on the cell two, so I can't really say as far as comparison. But it, this chest protector doesn't have those large floater shoulder protectors that a lot of the you know like warrior chest protectors have, and like um, let's see. Yeah, mainly the Warrior, um, Maverick's new one. Um, it's kind of got almost like an integrated shoulder pad to it. So, yeah, for younger players, those are great because I think in modified lacrosse, you have to wear shoulder pads and elbow pads still. So rather than, like, throw on shoulder pads, throw on your chest protector, which is ridiculous. Um, they just kind of took that step out of it and just integrated a shoulder pad, which, yes, for younger kids, it's very innovative, very nice. For us older, stubborn goalies that don't want all that crap and end up cutting it off anyway, get something like this. Um, it's highly protective, very nice. I believe um, Syracuse University, their goalies are, are wearing this one, at least last year I know they did. This year they might have gone to sell twos. But, um, yeah, uh, it's highly protective. Um, the buckle system is probably my only concern. I mean, for me, it's not really an issue. But um, you see it's got this quick release strap. And if you're a younger goalie and don't realize where the ball is coming, and this may get hit by a ball, and... I don't know, maybe the plastic will crack on it. But aside from that, I would say that's probably the only issue I would have with this chest protector. Um, as you see, it's real thin, real low profile. So you're not going to look like a fatty wearing it. Um, so if you want to look manorexic and uh, not bulky and just a skinny little gym rat, um, you can continue that look with this. Um, many people know I I can openly admit I'm not the thinnest guy. I'm not fat either. I just happen to go to the weight room from time to time. And I have a job where food is right there. I'm around food all the time. So um, sometimes um, I have to make sure. I have to, during the day, I have to make sure that when I'm cooking stuff, it tastes good. So of course, I got to put a little spoon in there, try the sauce. So all day long in a 12 hour day and I am eating. It's unfortunate but it's a side effect of the job I have. Um, I went from personal training to um, being a chef so I kind of did a quick 180 and uh, when people ask me why and I'm like I'm trying to build my clientele. I'm trying to fatten up America and then go back and train them all to skinny again. Um, but I also know my personal health. Um, I've been to the doctor, not an issue. So I'm just built bigger than everybody. I'm not a skinny little twig. Um, I grew up playing football, so that's where some of my bulk comes from. 
So anybody that's a troll out there that wants to call me fat, it's not going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> I know I am. But um, chest protector, obviously. Um, great chest protector. Um, again, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Um, as I said, and with my elbow pads, um, I would recommend it. Um, it's really nice. Um, for a skinnier kid, maybe the shoulder protect or shoulder pad might be a little restrictive. Um, but my shoulders are a little wider, so it's not a big deal. Um, that chest protector happens to be a size extra large, um, just because I have a longer torso and the large kind of left like half of my abdominal region kind of exposed. Even if I was down in my crouch um, or down in my my stance, I call it a crouch. Um, it I still didn't have full coverage, and uh, the way I play, I I know. Um, I kind of jump around, move side to side, and I knew I'd get hit without it being there, so that's why I went with the extra large. Um, but it comes in every size up to extra large. Although the extra large does cost usually ten dollars more, or I don't know if it's ten. Um, I think it's like maybe five bucks more, because obviously there's more material involved in making it bigger. So. Um, Otherwise, it's great. Um, like I said, the shoulder strapping system is nice. It really holds it down, pulls it down. So um, I recommend it. So, so if you have a chance to and need a new chest protector, sell sell chest protector, sell two maybe. Um, I haven't reviewed it. I actually haven't even tried one on. So, but sell STX sell chest protector. Awesome investment. So I will uh, talk to you guys later.